Hello, David Revoix here. This week, we will study how to make this effect. It's a purple cloud, a bit cartoony. It's not realistic cloud. So you can see the shape, the, the sort of blob of shapes and with a lot of particles. So if I zoom in, you see some particles are emitted from inside the cloud and there is darker part and there is particle all around. You were a lot to ask me how I did this effect with Krita and that's why I'm doing today a tutorial about it. So let's get started. So first I'm closing this and I will create a new document. I will pick a custom document and I fill it a bit because I trained it before this tutorial. So 2048 and 2048 for the size. And for the content, I will pick only one layer and a white canvas and I press create. Then I will zoom back using the minus key on the keyboard to 33%. You can read here on the corner of the screen. So you can also access it by clicking here and clicking the 33%. Uh, I click 33% to see the overall of my canvas on screen, because if I zoom in, I will probably not see some part. And then I will pick a bright color. So maybe a bright purple color like this, not too saturated, not too gray, just a bit grayish like that and very bright. And I go to edit, fill with foreground color. So now my canvas is filled with my foreground color. I will just pick the airbrush. I press shift on the keyboard and I drag to make a very big airbrush like this. And I will pick a darker color and I will just gently color the edge of my canvas. So like this, I'm pressing control to color pick the color of the, at the center. And I try to work to get this nice color transition from the border to the center. I could use maybe a gradient for this, but it would look maybe a bit too digital. I like to keep things a bit more natural, painterly maybe. So this layer, I can rename it with background and I can even lock it because there is a chance that I not use it anymore and I don't want to paint accidentally on it. Then I press the little plus to create a new layer and on this layer will be my cloud. So double click to edit the name and I edit for the cloud name. I will pick a brush that I very like. This one, Bristol 2 Flat Rough from the default kit of Krita 4. And with shift, I resize to get a bigger brush and I will pick a very dark color and I will create this sort of drawing of blob of cloud. So yes, I want a shape like that. It looks a bit like grapes at first for the drawing. We don't need a very complex drawing. And then I will fill them with the color. And when it's done, I will zoom on my canvas a bit so you can see better what I will do. And I will create the inner color by selecting a very more saturated color. So I'm trying to keep a bit on the purple violet and I will select a bright color, not too saturated, not too bright. And I will create here more at the center of this cloud, some saturated part. Like that. And I will pick also with the color picker, some in between color that appears because of the pressure on the canvas. So it will be a color halfway between this one and this one, and I will start to model a bit 
this cloudy shape. So why I'm shading like that? Making the saturated color at the center and some darker color at the edge. It's because we have probably here like a chemical reaction or something that is physical like a fire or something and this particle when in contact to the hair here they get cold and getting darker. So that's what I'm trying to replicate here. So I'm selecting some color and I'm trying to model its basic shape. It's, it's like sphere. So this is really easy to paint. Uh, and of course you can make complex patterns like I made on my webcomic. And this shape is also like a 3D shape, but, but we see it almost from the top. If I had to show you the modeling of this, like the 3D software with wire, wireframe, it would do something like this, and for this one, something like this, maybe. So keep in mind the volume. I'm doing undo, undo, undo. That was just to show you. And I'm continuing the, the modeling a bit. So I will probably launch uh, a little time lapse because I will just model, model, model and go to smaller size of brush to make it look good. Alright, when the cloudy shape is a bit modeled, I will add another external source of light on the edge around it. And this one will be very bright and with a tiny bit of the color we have, the, the violet purple one. So with this one, I will describe like a gentle edge around the, the cloud. So maybe mine color wasn't enough colored, it was too bright. So I'm trying to pick a bit of color and to reintroduce a bit in it. This is something you can evaluate only visually. And maybe like that, I, I like this edge color. And now I will also launch another time lapse while I'm just doing this rim light around the, the cloud. So when you finish the, the, the modeling with the rim light, with the internal light and with keeping some part dark on the outside of the shape, uh, maybe it's wise to make a first saving right now. So I will save this one as my cloud, save. And then we will start to do the particle effect on the cloud. So for this, I'm creating a new layer, I will call it FX. And this layer will contain the effect. I will right click on the layer and go to the layer style. So the layer style dialog pop up and I will go to the outer glow. I'm activating the outer glow and I will select the blend mode in arithmetic addition and I will put the spread to 50% and the size to 50 pixel. I will also select a color here that is really near to a red, reddish color, very saturated, like that. 
When the layer style are set up like this, you can just press OK and your layer will get this little icon on the corner with a little FX. It means our FX layer, our layer has an FX. So to create the effect, I will select a brush and I will select this one on the default pack, the texture splat. And I will pick white color with it. And as soon as I will paint with it, I will resize just to the particle to be at the size I want. But as soon as I paint with it, you will see that I have this outer glow effect that will affect my particle. So if I'm not happy with the color, I can still go right click, layer style. I'm putting just the layer style on the side to see the effect on the canvas. Going to outer glow and select maybe another color more near to the violet purple. I'm pressing OK and you can see the change applying. So I will continue to design the particle I want. So if your computer screams a bit at this step, it's normal because the layer effect takes a lot of resource, but they also are very convenient to create this type of effect. So I'm creating smaller particle at the center and particle that flies around. If you want to create more natural effect, it's good at one time to stop with the texture splat brush and just pick a manual brush like this one, basic five size, and create your own particle. So you can even create some pattern or line or just put more density inside the kernel of this cloud. If your particles are a bit too sharp, you can still take a stomp brush like the blender smear, like this, and gently just smear them a bit to give them a little bit of motion. So I can smear them a lot, but this is just to shake them a little bit. I'm not sure it will be visible on the video, but to create a little motion blur effect. Of course, when it's done, the layer effect uh, will need to be baked. So you, you can't really save your artwork like that and reload because uh, layer effects have often a lot of tiny bugs at low adding. So I advise to create a layer under and name it FX when you are done and just merge down the layer. So go to merge with layer below here. And so your layer will merge with the normal layer below. So don't forget to switch back the blending mode to addition here. And now it's not an effect, it's a normal layer and you should be able to save it and reload it uh, without any problem. So feel free to use this uh, type of effect for all your magical effect on your comics. And if you liked this video, please uh, put a like and share it, subscribe and everything as usual. Thank you and goodbye.